Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're adding these rear saddlebag dynamic sequential LEDs to a 2018 Honda Goldwing Tour. Now, these look like a Honda OEM product that should have been included from the factory. Not only do they have a super bright red tail light, but also sequential turn signals. And when you hit the brakes, the brake lights modulate. Start by putting your Goldwing on the center stand and you'll need to remove the seat. For detailed instructions on how to remove the seat, check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the ground terminal from the battery. We need to remove the rear fender shown here along with the two saddlebag rear covers. There are two bolts that hold the rear fender in place, and you can use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove these. It should be noted that all of the bolts we removed today using the 5mm Allen wrench are the exact same size and shape, so you don't need to worry about keeping them separated. To remove the fender, grab it and pull firmly straight out to release the boss from the grommet. There are also some small clips at the top edge that will need to be released. Disconnect the electrical connector for the license plate light. On the inside of the saddlebag rear cover, you'll see another one of these 5mm Allen bolts. And if you go a little further down toward the bottom of the motorcycle, you'll find a small Phillips or JIS screw that also must be removed. Now, when we go around to the outside of the motorcycle, we'll see some other fasteners that have to be removed. The three bolts shown here need to be removed using your 5mm Allen wrench or socket. There's also a plastic body clip or rivet at the bottom of this panel. Here I'm using a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the bolt that's just under the fender. Now again, these bolts are all the same size and shape, and I'm going to show you how to install the left side. The right side is identical, so just repeat what you learned on the left side. Here I'm removing that small Phillips or JIS screw that's kind of at the lower inside edge of this cover. Now, let's remove the three remaining bolts that are on the outside edge of the panel. These are underneath the saddlebag door. Here I'm using a small pick to punch in on the center of the plastic body clip or rivet. And usually you can just use your fingernail or the pick to kind of pull out on the edges of that rivet to remove it. With all the fasteners removed, you can begin removing this panel. Now, be careful when you pull on this. You don't want to pull straight out too hard because there is a little plastic tab that slips underneath the piece up at the top. So you just kind of want to wiggle it. There's also a couple of little pins that fit into holes in the plastic. And it just takes a little bit of uh, wiggling around to get it to release. The next step is to remove cover A, which is the black plastic piece at the bottom of the saddlebag rear cover from cover B. Use a small pick or the tip of a Phillips screwdriver to punch in on the center of the push pin that's holding cover A in place. Use a Phillips or JIS screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold cover A to cover B. You can now pull the two pieces apart and separate cover A from cover B. We're going to replace cover A with our LED light. Since I'm working on the left saddlebag rear cover, I'm going to install the left saddlebag light shown here. 
and it fits in place exactly like the OEM Cover A. It's a perfect fit. Replace the plastic body clip we removed earlier, and then replace the two Phillips or JIS screws. These are self-tapping screws, so they don't need to be over-tightened. And here is what our rear saddlebag dynamic sequential LED looks like once it's been installed correctly. You can use a couple of pieces of gaffer tape to hold the wire to the inside edge of the panel as I'm doing here. Now, gaffer tape is not super sticky, but it will work. You could use any other kind of tape that you feel comfortable with. You could even use flex tape, which is super strong. It's important to clean the surface well before using tape so that it will stick better. If you look under the seat toward the rear of the motorcycle and you look down toward the edge, you'll see some daylight. And that's how we're going to fish our wires up through to the under seat area. I'm using a 36 inch cable tie and I'm just feeding it down there. You can see where it comes out down at the bottom. Now you can do this after you've reinstalled the panel or before. I'm just doing this one before. Now we're ready to reinstall the saddlebag rear cover. Make sure that that small plastic tab up at the top edge slips underneath the saddlebag cover on top and then line up all the other openings. Reinsert the body clip at the bottom of the panel. Now you can reinstall the three bolts using a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. You want to firmly tighten all of these bolts, but there's no need to over tighten them. Remember, you are screwing into plastic. Reinstall the bolt at the top rear of the panel. Reinstall the self tapping screw at the middle inside edge of the panel. Now we're ready to tape our wire harness to our wire fish tool. You want to make sure it's in the direction of the tool. You don't want to have it turned like this or it will get into a bind. So make sure when you tape it to the wire fish, I just use masking tape as I'm doing here, that you have it going in the same direction as the tool. Now we can pull our wire harness up through to under the seat where we can then connect it. If you're connecting to the Pathfinder LED plug and play harness, you'll want to make sure to match up the wire colors and plug it in as shown. And that's pretty much the installation. You'll do this on the right and the left side. If you plan to connect these lights to the power accessory hub from Pathfinder LED, you'll want to cut off these connectors using a wire cutter and then strip back the wires before connecting them to the same colored wires on the power accessory hub.